Hola, como estas? This is and I am been around the world. It's another beautiful day here in Mexico and I am on my rooftop patio here in Playa del Carmen. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about something very important and that is the power, the ability to adapt. Adapt uh, in a new environment, whether it be uh, Playa del Carmen or if you're trying to be an expat in a different city, in a different country, or if you're trying to become a permanent world traveler. Um, adaption is key. It is gonna be the biggest weapon in your arsenal. Now, before I got here to Playa del Carmen, before I decided that I wanted to become a permanent world traveler, I did a lot of homework and research. So much so that I thought before I even started, I knew what I was doing. And I don't want you guys to get me wrong. I'm not saying don't do your homework. I'm not saying don't do your research. That is very, very important or you'll be even more lost. But you have to understand there's a difference between uh, <laughs> watching videos, reading books, doing your homework and actually throwing yourself into a new environment and um, you know I had a plan I thought I knew what was going on um, before I got to Playa del Carmen and started my my trip I knew I thought I knew exactly what I was doing and how to do it and before I started my channel I thought I knew what I was doing and how to do it and the format and how everything was going to be done but as an old boss of mine used to say a plan is just something to deviate from Again, I'm not saying don't have a plan, but I'm saying don't be rigid, don't be in the mindset where if something goes wrong that everything is over, everything is destroyed. Adaption is key. Do not, if you come across an obstruction, don't think of it as an obstruction. Think of it as an opportunity to learn, top, an opportunity to see a new viewpoint, to see a new way, a new path, even if it's a different path. It might be a better path, you don't know. So. Sometimes you got to evolve. You got to roll with the punches. You got to go with the flow. Whatever idiom or euphemism or saying or metaphor you want to use, you know, you just you 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 gotta you gotta change. If you come to a new environment like I did here in Playa del Carmen, uh, Mexico, it's uh, my job to adapt to my new surroundings. It is not my surroundings' job to adapt to me. And I know that sounds silly and I know it seems like that's just common sense, but uh, <laughs> you'll find a lot of people uh, come to a new country uh, as a tourist and they get upset that things aren't the way they want it. And I understand that you're used to certain accommodations, but you, you, you do got to think, you got to be reasonable. You know, if you wanted to come to Mexico and it be exactly like where you came from, well then, why did you leave where you came from? Why, why did you come here? If you wanted it not to be like this, then you should have picked somewhere else. I don't know what to tell you, you know, and uh, I mean, there are definitely big things that you have to adapt to, and we'll go over a lot of those in like future videos, but a lot of things are just common sense, and uh, apparently a lot of people lack common sense. They come down here and they complain about um, things that should have been super obvious. Like they'll come come to Mexico and complain that it's too hot or that it's too sunny. I don't I don't I don't know where you thought you were going. It's it's, it's Mexico. Um, it's it's practically June now. But it's June first. You know, like the the sun is out. It's hot. It's warm. It the uh, you know. And I know, that, again, that sounds silly, but yeah, a lot of people come down here and they, they're ill-prepared. They, they don't become best friends with uh, sunblock. You know, SPF 100, do what you gotta do. Um, you know, I'm from Buffalo, New York, which is considerably northward, and we do not get temperatures like this. But I knew that coming here, and I, I did my best to be prepared. I made best friends with sunblock. Um, my mother, God bless her, she did recommend I buy a hat, which is solid advice, advice that I didn't take, but I will pass on to you. Get yourself uh, a hat, you know, you can get ones with the all-around brim, and uh, you will have to make certain adjustments to your daily schedule. My first couple weeks here, um, I would do my food shopping at the Walmart, even though there were, there were supermarkets much closer, I did it at the Walmart because they had a self-checkout in English and I 
didn't have to get lost in translation and I was able to do everything on my own and Walmart is familiar but it was about a mile away and I would take the trek in the sun and then a mile back with all my groceries in the sun and you know I would pay the price I'd sweat something terrible and maybe get a little sunburn you know I made adjustments to my daily schedule you know during the uh, hours where the sun is brightest you know, sometimes I take the advice of the locals here and I take a little siesta, stay in the air conditioning, stay cool. Some of the tasks that you can do earlier in the morning or later on in the day, do it. You know, I usually wait till the, not necessarily the sun goes down, but the start, sun starts lowering and it gets a little cooler. If I'm going to go, uh, go walk somewhere, it's a significant distance. And speaking of walking in the sun, taxis are a thing here, cabs are a thing here. And they are everywhere. They are super easy to flag down. Even if you don't speak Spanish, it's easy enough to tell them where you want to go. Uh, all the streets, all the streets are numbers. They don't have names, they have numbers. So just learn your numbers and you can tell your cabbie where you want to go. And they're super cheap. Basically anywhere in Playa del Carmen costs uh, 40 to 50 pesos, which is two bucks, 250. So, you know, if you have bags full of groceries and you gotta walk a mile home and it's three o'clock in the afternoon and the sun is out and gonna burn your skin and you were ill prepared and didn't have sunblock t take a cab it's two bucks you know just uh, common sense things you know just uh, take care of your skin some people like to go to the beach and they skip the sunblock phase because they want to expedite the tanning process they want to get a tan quick don't do that just don't don't do that the sunblock you're going outside, you're going to be outside for more than five minutes, sunblock. Even if you're going to go outside for 30 seconds, sunblock. You know, it's, it's Mexico, the sun is hot. It's just the way it is, you know. And again, I feel silly telling you guys this, but some people come here and they, they, they become, they get ill-prepared. I, I prepare as well as I can, and I still get burned every once in a while, you know. And I haven't taken the advice of my mom and gotten a hat yet, but, you know, maybe I will. Uh, you know, another silly uh, complaint that people have refused to adapt to is that people here don't speak enough English. I think that's even sillier than the, the sun argument. It's, we're in Mexico. I understand Playa del Carmen is a sort of tourist city, but it's still a city in Mexico. They don't owe you English. It's true, the closer you get to Fifth Avenue or the beach, and in certain touristy areas, you know, you will come across a lot of locals, Mexicans that speak English, but they don't have to. That's not owed to you, you know. Um, <clears throat> and it's wild because I've met people who have lived here for years and have never bothered to take a Spanish class. They've never bothered to even try learning Spanish besides just maybe a few words they pick up here and there, you know. Um, I'm not saying you have to learn Spanish to come visit here, but if you're going to stay here on a permanent or semi-permanent basis, you know, learn some Spanish. And again, you don't, I mean, to learn the entire language, yes, obviously it takes a very long time, but there are certain key words, phrases, um, questions that it, it's good to know, you know, that will definitely help you on your day. You know, you can greet people, say hello, you know, ask where the bathroom is, ask how much something is, ask where something, you know, common sense things. You know, I was in Playa del Carmen only maybe a couple of weeks, three weeks before I started hunting for a, a teacher, a tutor, or school. I'm currently taking my Spanish classes at Viva Idiomas, a school run by a bunch of hippies, and it's a, it's a cool place. I'll do a video on that place all on its own some other day, but you know, I um, took it upon myself to try to adapt. You know, I do come across a lot of people that speak English, but I also want to learn a little bit of Spanish. Not everybody speaks English. And, you know, it's frustrating when you're in a new environment and the language is different. You want to know. It's, you want to stay informed. You want to know what people are saying and what's going on around you. So, uh, I'm doing my best, and if you guys want to come down to Playa del Carmen or Mexico itself or any of the countries that speak Spanish and there are plenty you know it might not uh, be a bad idea to try to learn a little bit of Spanish you know there's uh, there's there's plenty of ways to do it like you can spend no money and learn to speak Spanish if you're determined enough 
you know, you can use YouTube. The internet is a thing. It's an infinite resource. Um, but there's also, you know, paid programs. Obviously, you can use. Uh, do a little bit of uh, do a little bit of uh, Rosetta Stone. I'm sure you guys have heard of that. Uh, there's Babelfish. There's Google Translate. You know, it's Google Translate. You know, it's it's not perfect, but it'll definitely help you. And it can, be, especially if you don't speak the language, you can use it as a resource to. Uh, as a go-between if you're in a pinch and you need to talk to somebody and they need to talk to you and you don't have the same uh, language but or you know like you could do what I do I take uh, one-to-one -one classes in person or you can take classes online you know um, video chat zoom is a thing plenty of people learn the language uh, little by little by taking classes online so you know adaption you come to Mexico be prepared that it's hot and that the sun is out. You come to Mexico, be prepared that the people around you may not speak the same language as you. You gotta adapt, you gotta evolve. And uh, you know, those are just two examples. There's plenty of other ones that are less obvious and that we will talk about. Actually, as a matter of fact, I think next video I'm gonna talk about the police presence here in Playa del Carmen and what you need to do to adapt to stay safe and stay out of trouble but I'll leave that for next video uh, in the meantime I do believe that's all we have for today so this is Ben Around the World signing off reminding you to be kind to yourself and to be kind to someone else adios